Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to render flip fluids in Redshift. Alright, so this is a very common question that I get a lot, and this is gonna be a really fast and simple trick that I'm gonna show you. But I'm going to explain you why this is happening. All right. So you have you already your flip fluid simulation. In my case, I have this simulation of uh, my friend Roberto turning into water. He's really hydrated. All right. So I could show you this, how I did this in another time. If you want to see how I did this effect, please post a comment and say I want to see that all right so he's becoming water and today we're just gonna see how to render this uh, water effect in uh, redshift because this is all set up specifically for mantra when it's uh, when it's first built by Houdini so you have this setup and now you want to render it uh, with uh, redshift you have your redshift uh, node here let me just reset these values here and let's say that we want to render this let's say we have this and most of the time the render flag is over here and this um, node here uh, we just right now we're seeing these uh, particles here is the visualization of the particles I already cached the particles we don't you have to see me caching anything we don't waste any time on that but let's see what happens let me override this and uh, let me see that I don't have enabled stuff that it's not needed right now. Even this. All right. Now I can render with Redshift. You can see there's a preview render of this that I previously did. So you can see that uh, the render it's coming along, but it only renders the mesh, and the uh, the mesh for uh, the water is not there. All right. So we're trying to render this here. Let's see what's happening here. All right. So what's the issue here? So it's a very simple thing to solve this, but I want you to understand what is happening here. So Houdini imports the particles from your, your uh, simulation and then store. I, I just store this simulation here. Uh, the simulated particles. This is the particles that come from uh, simulation. The flip fluid particles are these ones, right? Alright, so now if there's a second part here that turns those particles into a surface, which is the responsible guy for that is this particle fluid surface node here, right? So this node turns the particles into mesh, you can see the icon there. So this is the settings from it, you can explore the settings on your own. Uh, for now, the thing we're interested in here is in this convert to, which is in the output section. And by default, it converts to surface polygon soup, which is a really cool and optimized format, uh, or it's, it's like a geometry format that it's optimized a lot for Mantra. And it's, you should be using this whenever you're using Mantra. It's really cool that you can use this polygon soup uh, format. It's really, really effective for Mantra and it's really optimized. But since we are using Redshift, which is another render and doesn't understand this polygon soup doesn't know what I don't want a soup I just want polygons dude so you just have to change this to surface polygons without the soup and then you don't you won't see much change here in the viewport because it's not really that uh, noticeable here the difference is it's almost none at all but the format changes here so now, if we actually render with Redshift again, you can see now. So now you can see there is our fluid. There you go. There's our fluid. And now we can render it because it's made out of polygons. So like I told you, this was going to be really simple and really fast. Now, now that you change this convert, this convert node to uh, polygons, you should just cache them, right? You should just cache the particles and and not worry about converting this on the fly. But the other thing I'm going to tell you here is that if you want these guys to have uh, velocity, like a motion blur, you go 
if you want to go to Redshift and you say, uh, all right, let me up enable motion blur. Let's say, let's render that again. All right, so as you can see, this thing looks exactly the same and we have enabled motion blur and nothing happened here. So why is that happening? We do have velocity here. If we check this node here, you should be able to see that we have velocity there. We have it right there. So what's happening here? And if we go outside of here, when you can see that this geometry velocity blur will be enabled already. Uh, so the thing you need to do is to add the redshift uh, properties for the object. You can see if you have the redshift shelf, there is a object parameters tab there. You can just grab this, click this guy. Now you have this tab and here, you have to enable this deformation blur for velocity attribute. Uh, there you need that guy. Now let's see what we have here. So now you can see this has motion blur as we expect in from this mesh. And that's how you render your really nice fluids. The only other thing I did for this, I just created a, a really nice uh, RS material, really simple RS material. I uh, changed the preset to water, then just change those colors over here to just give it a dull green tint. And I uh, place some lights and uh, just uh, render it. Alright guys, as I said, this was going to be really simple. This uh, really just one thing that you have to understand and what you have to understand is that these tools are by default set up for mantra rendering, which is of course expected and uh, the polygon soup it's really effective and optimized for mantra but we can't use that for redshift so we just have to change the polygons and we are set all right guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this if you want to see a tutorial on this water effect let me know in the comments uh let's keep learning together and i will see you in the next one